Hi, this is Eric with Cat Avenue, and thanks for dropping by today to watch this video. Keep in mind that we made this video using AutoCAD and our MetQ add-on. But for those who don't have AutoCAD, we also have a alternative, just like AutoCAD, with MetQ built right inside. And this uh, is what we call AviCAD. So check that out on catavenue.com and feel free to ask me more about how you can implement MetQ into your workflow. So today um, I'll be walking you through a few structural utilities that you'll find within MetQ and we'll be exploring the uh, section draw utility in order to create steel columns and beams and we'll also get into creating steel plates and lastly the 3D stair utility as well. So let's go ahead and get started. And so here is the MetQ module that we can access through the pull down or toolbar. Um, it's loaded with all kinds of tools to help you get your 2D and 3D drafting done with minimal effort. And within this uh, module, you can choose different beam types and thicknesses. You can also draw either in 2D or 3D and also create bill of materials. But first let's get started just by drawing a simple 2D rectangle. We'll need this in order to snap over to it as we build our 3D model. Let's go into the isometric view and copy this rectangle up 10 feet. Quick tip here, you wanna hold down your shift key so that you're copying this in a true Z direction. Next, let's go back to our sections draw utility and we'll be placing our column by its center by just choosing the middle dot uh, located right there on the thumbnail. Let's go ahead and get into our plate utility and insert a plate directly underneath the column. Again, we'll be picking this by its center or midpoint. And then lastly, we'll be taking the column and steel plate assembly and we'll be copying this around in the grid in each of the remaining corners. Next, I'll be showing you how to draw steel beam. Uh, we'll select the size from the pull down, and this time we'll be selecting it from the top. And we'll use the midpoint filter, and that would be typing underscore MID from the command line. And we're doing this so that we can accurately place it in the 3D model. And again, we'll be repeating this for the remaining columns. And each time that we snap, we're using the midpoint as I'm showing here. So as you can see, this is really, really quick and super simple. Doesn't take a whole lot of effort. Um, it's just uh, getting used to the menus and just working uh, using the proper object snaps. Okay, so I got the beams and columns in place and let's go ahead and turn off the column layer for now so that we can more easily see what we're doing. So next, let's go ahead and draw a simple hatch to define the mesh that will be our platform. And now let's go ahead and create a simple 3D stair. Here we can define the parameters just by clicking on the labels in the diagram. For example, uh, to change the height of our handrails, we're just clicking here and entering in the parameter that we need. So now to create the stair, we just define two points in our plan view, and then we establish the height of the stair and then finally rotate it in the plan and place it against the steel beam. Now we'll go into the side view and then we will move the stair to the top of the platform. And just to show you a little bit about the handrail utility, um, here we're just creating a 2D only handrail, but we can easily rotate this up in 3D and if needed, we could come back and extrude this hand railing at a later time. But for now, let's go ahead and rotate this whole piece using the 3D rotate command you'll find in AutoCAD or in AviCAD. And we'll enter in the axis of rotation and enter in two points at the bottom of the rail and rotate it up. And then finally, let's go ahead and move it into the corner of the platform. As I mentioned, if you want to extrude this later, you can, but for the purpose of keeping this video really short, we're gonna skip over that. So next, let's use the handrail construction lines that have been drawn for us, uh, and then load up the structural bar utility and trace over the railing. 
And finally, let's go ahead and turn off the center line and then copy that whole assembly to the opposite side. And lastly, let me show you the steel vessel utility that's uh, included in MetQ. It's a simple dialog menu and we're basically just defining parameters like before and then we're inserting this directly on top of the steel mesh. So this completes the video. For more videos, you can visit us at cadavenue.com forward slash videos or you can go to our YouTube channel youtube.com forward slash CAD Avenue. So if you have any questions, feel free to email me at info at CAD Avenue.com or you can call 888-271-7121. Please uh, don't forget to leave comments if you're viewing this on YouTube and we appreciate it. Thanks. Bye.